Today we're gonna to be reviewing and comparing every single Razer Barracuda headset. And if at any point during the video and if you got any of these Razer headsets, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links, but let's get into it. All right, so the Barracuda X's come in at $99.99. Now, build quality on the Barracuda X's is solid for a mainly plastic build quality. Very functional with rotating ear cups and an overall very comfortable design. A plastic outer top band with a soft foam leather inner top band. It has really nice earmuffs. And while this is mainly plastic, it does have adjustable metal bands and comes in at only 250 grams, which is very, very good for a wireless headset. That's that's really good. Now, sound quality of the Barracuda X's out of the box sounds very good with good bass, but very clear and bright trebles and mids without being over boosted. Once the EQ is tuned, it can sound very, very good, but it still can't compete with the more expensive Barracuda Pros in terms of bass especially. As a gaming headset, this is one of the best values that Razer offers in a wireless headset. This is also more in line with what I personally prefer in a headset with its sound profile, managing deep bass with clear mids and trebles. Impressive not only for gaming, but music also sounds awesome. Now, when talking straight gameplay, the biggest thing you'll notice is that these can switch between a fantastic music and media experience to a fantastic gaming experience. This is really unusual, and it's also, well, the entire lineup of the Barracuda's mission statement. So the reason you would buy the Barracuda over the other Razer headsets is because their idea was to make a headset that is good for everything, listening to music, media consumption, and gameplay. And I think that they pulled it off really well, although the Barracuda X's are still more of that gaming headset. Now the crispness of each click from a gun in game or footsteps outside with that deep bass that you get from the Barracuda X's makes for a very emotional yet still functional gaming setup, making this one of my favorite Razer headsets of all time, especially considering that price point, which is very good. In its class, not even in Razer's class, but in the entire industry, I think this is probably the best value dollar per dollar wireless gaming headset. Now it's for controls on the back left ear cup. There is a mic mute button, volume control, power slash mode selection button, a three and a half millimeter jack, a USB type C for charging, and then a detachable mic. Now it's for connectivity. This can be wired with a 3.5 millimeter cable, wireless with a type C 2.5 gigahertz USB dongle and Bluetooth. This is important. And this is one of the main missions of the Barracudas. They want this to be able to be used on your phone as well as being a dedicated gaming headset. Now for battery life, Razer claims around 50 hours of usage. I found battery life to be accurate or even more reaching around 60 hours. So this is really good and very good if you do wanna use this as a headset that's not exclusively for gaming, but maybe listening to music out in the wild, out in the world. Now comfort on a Barracuda X's is extremely good. Part of that is due to it being very, very light, but the earmuffs are super plush and sit perfectly on the head without pressing too hard, not to mention the fabric keeps you cool for longer, hotter gaming sessions. This is possibly the most comfortable Razer headset at the price point, especially when considering that this is wireless. Now, mic quality on the Barracuda X's is just fine. It's a little muffled, but pretty much what you would expect at this price point in a wireless headset, but take a listen for yourself. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Barracuda X. And that is how it sounds. But as for compatibility, this is compatible with PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Switch with the dongle, and Android, iOS with Bluetooth, and Xbox with a wired connection with that 3.5 millimeter connection. All right, but moving on to the Razer Barracuda. This comes in at a price tag of $159.99. And this is where it becomes that really like true hybrid setup that I don't really know how I feel about yet. These remove a mic boom arm, which is kind of the thing that makes a headset a headset. So these are kind of more headphones, but they game really, really well. So this might be perfect if you wanna buy one single headset for everything. Build quality on the Barracudas is a blend between the Barracuda X's and the very expensive Barracuda Pros. While it shares the same adjustable top band with leather inserts on the inside and outside, it maintains the earmuffs from the Barracuda X's, which are that fabric. In all other ways, this is virtually the same build quality as the Barracuda Pros. Now, sound quality on the Barracudas, similar to the build quality, is right in the middle between the X's and the Pros. You have great drivers that are optimized not only for being great to listening to music or content, but also having fantastic directional sound for gameplay, and is an overall great experience in game, even though these are supposed to be like a hybrid setup. In terms of sound quality, each of these is a step above the previous, which makes it a very easy buying decision, as if what you're looking for is this hybrid setup, just buy within your price point but those Barracuda Pros are 
ridiculously expensive. They are very expensive. Now as for controls on the back of the left ear cup, there is a mic mute switch, volume wheel, power button, three and a half millimeter jack, and a USB for charging. Then on the right, there is a button to toggle between Bluetooth and that 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. For connectivity, obviously there's a lot of options here. This has wireless with that 2.4 gigahertz USB-C dongle. Bluetooth or a 3.5 millimeter cable. Now, the interesting thing here is that battery life gets cut a little bit, obviously, because the drivers are probably using a little bit more power, but it seems like if you're gonna go exclusively with a headset, you might wanna up the battery life. This has claimed 40 hours of battery life. I got close to around 45, 46 hours, but that's still very good, especially for a headset that can do everything, but I would have liked to see that a little bit higher. Now, comfort on the Barracudas is a blend between the more expensive Pros and the cheaper Xs. You maintain those fabric ear cuffs that are great for the overall headset being cool while getting that slightly different top leather band. Also weighing in the middle between the two at around 300 grams. This makes for a very comfortable gaming and relaxing listening experience as far as comfort. Across the board, you're not gonna go wrong with the Barracudas as this is one of the most comfortable lines of Razer headset. And honestly, they've just been killing it with comfort these days. Now, mic quality here has that integrated mic, which is honestly like not great quality, but for an integrated mic, it's a very good quality. And well, you guys can just take a listen for yourself, but it's not as good as the Barracuda X's that obviously have that dedicated mic, but for integrated mics, it's pretty good on a headset. So if you did wanna make calls as well as do gameplay on Discord, it's definitely going to work for that, but take a listen for yourself. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Barracuda. And that is how it sounds. As for compatibility, this is compatible with PC, Mac, PlayStation, Switch with the dongle, and then Android and iOS with Bluetooth and Xbox in that wired format. But with that, let's move on to the Razer Barracuda Pros. These come in at a whopping $249.99. That is a freaking ton of money. And is it worth it? I mean, I did spend my money on it, but if I was going to, I probably wouldn't but if you do want the ultimate single headset to do it all, well, this can do it all. Especially if you're choosing between like the Sony XM5s, maybe the Apple headphones, as well as the Barracuda as well, that seems like the price point's not too bad anymore and this is gonna game way better than those. So that might be a place where you're like, these are better and for the price, they're pretty good. All right, now build quality of the pros is very similar to the regular Barracudas, but now changing the earmuffs to a super supple and unbelievably soft leather earmuff. Also with the addition of a very thick inner earmuff pad over those drivers. So that's the inner like foam pad right next to the driver. So if your ears do kind of point out a little bit more, you're gonna be okay. The other change here is you get a more premium finish being this beautiful like black metallic color. It is very pretty and very in line with more of a hybrid kind of headset. Now, sound quality on the Barracuda Pros, even though they're expensive, it is fantastic. And it has one very, very cool feature, which is the optimization and the EQ tune changes rapidly. Okay, so firstly, this has ANC, which is the noise cancellation. and it's very good noise cancellation. If you're on a plane, this is like really, really top tier stuff. But when you have ANC on, it's optimized for music. So the bass is very strong and deep and honestly just sounds awesome. And music on these, unbelievably good. Fantastic low frequency response, having really, really rich, clear bass. Very impressive. This also has great mids and trebles without very much moneyness at all. And seemingly more optimized for gaming with ANC off quite a well-tuned sound profile from a factory. In game, this sounds amazing, especially for a wireless headset. There's very little moneyness on the upper end of the frequency range, being incredibly clear without being overboosted at all. Those small sounds that you might not have heard before come to life here while not losing any spatial awareness. This is very, very impressive. For gaming, this not only doesn't compromise your spatial awareness, but it also gives you that very emotional side to the game. I think that Razer pulled off that hybrid setup like really perfectly. I don't know of another headset that you can really get if that's what you want, but it's a big price point to pay for a mic that's not that great. Now as for controls on the back of the left ear cup, there was a mic mute switch, volume wheel, power button, and a USB for charging. Then on the right, there is a button to toggle between the ANC noise cancellation and ambient modes, as well as between Bluetooth and the dongle. I will also say the ambient mode, very good. So if you do wanna to listen to things around you while also listening to music, super, super nice. It honestly surprisingly stays right in line with something like, you know, Sony. Well, Sony is definitely a little bit of a step above. This is way better with gaming. So 
possibly worth it. No for connectivity, this is wireless with a 2.4 gigahertz USB-C dongle or Bluetooth. No three and a half millimeter jack and this is the thing that I wasn't super happy with is the battery life. This claims 40 hours of battery life, but after testing, I got around 50, which is great, but you could have done more. And I think in a headset like this, you should have done more, especially for $249.99, because that's a lot of money. However, the Barracuda Pros Comfort, how is it? It is amazingly good. They are supremely comfortable with incredibly soft leather earmuffs for long gaming sessions, this is going to get hotter than the X and the regular Barracudas with that fabric. However, it's great for a hybrid gaming music travel headphones. This is designed to be your everything headset and I think they nailed it with the comfort. This comes in at 339 grams after weighing in and even with this being the heaviest Barracuda, this is not at all fatiguing. The one note is that the leather earmuffs, while they're great for isolation and are extremely comfortable, if you are prone to like heating up these do get substantially hotter than the regular Barracudas with the fabric and the Barracuda Xs, but they're also unbelievably comfortable. So there's that. And they seal obviously better and block out more noise, even with ANC off. Now, mic quality on the Barracuda Pros is again with that integrated mic without an arm. And like I said, it's the same as the Barracudas. For being the setup, it's very good, but it's not great overall. So take a listen to the mic test of the Barracuda Pros. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Barracuda Pros. And that is how it sounds. As far as compatibility, this is compatible with PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch with a dongle, and Android and iOS with Bluetooth. But again, it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter cable, so you cannot use it with Xbox. Take a listen to the back-to-pack mic tests of all the headsets. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Barracuda X. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Barracuda. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Barracuda Pros. Again, if you want to check out these exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.